Okay. Uh, now in your fourth term as Doniana County District Attorney, why uh, did you feel that this was the best time for you to uh, take the step of running for governor? Why did you decide to run? Um, it is really the best time for us to take a drastic change and make drastic changes in New Mexico. We are really in a very bad position with the budget that is probably going to be in a deficit of about a billion dollars by the time it's all said and done. Um, there needs to be some very strong and ethical leadership that needs to take place in the state. We cannot have four more years of the very same policies that have taken place the last seven years. We need to make sure to bring businesses back to the state. We need to make it a friendly environment for for businesses to stay and come. Um, we're talking about raising taxes uh, more recently. Why would we do that during this economic time and at the same time uh, pushing businesses away where our kids are failing? Um, we have to make a 180 degree turn and it has to be done ethically and it has to be done with strong leadership and without the same administration in place. Okay, now, um, obviously, dealing with the budget situation and dealing with the economy that's happening right now, those are just going to be some of the realities of whoever the next governor is. They're going to have to deal with that. What are some of the other issues, though, uh, that have really piqued your interest in terms of the differences you want to make? Well, certainly are in education. Uh, we have got to make sure that we can provide a good workforce for the for the businesses, that, the small businesses that got created here. That's who provides jobs. Our government at this point has is bloated over 50% in the last seven years. And so what we need to do is make sure we are educating our kids properly, that the dollars are staying in the classroom with the teachers and the students, and that we make sure we develop a good workforce for those jobs that need to stay here. We also need to remove some of the ridiculous regulations that are taking place that aren't evidence-based. And the regulations are what taking businesses from our state to Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, Arizona, we're not competitive. And certainly we need to do it without all of the corruption that we've been experiencing. Uh, there is no faith in companies that want to come to our state, that this is a place that they can do fair business, competitive business, and that the best person will be selected for positions or appointments to lead our government. Our border state, we have security issues. We need to protect our borders and make sure that the threat of whether it be terrorism or the uh, Mexican cartel, the violence that they bring on the other side of the border, that it stays there in Mexico. Um, and we have to make sure that we shore, our, shore up our borders. And that does not include giving driver's licenses to illegal aliens. Of course, as the uh, district attorney and a longtime prosecutor in Doniana County, you have seen from a very unique perspective uh, the impact of border violence and crime. Talk a little bit about about that element of your job as district attorney? You know, we regularly receive alerts about um, individuals who are threatening whether it be to um, cause harm to citizens by kidnapping them and then asking for ransom uh, by the cartels or causing harm to the law enforcement officials and officers and prosecutors in our state. Uh, we have had some spillover into El Paso, Texas, very few incidences into Doniana County. However, there has been this huge cooperation of the Sheriff's Department and Police Departments across the border in New Mexico and the DA's offices to make sure that whether it be through um, technology and sensors um, that are placed along the border, whether it be Normandy barriers, whether it be people, Board Patrol and ICE officers on horseback, Sheriff's Department officers in uh, four wheels, four wheel drives. I mean, we have got to make sure to keep that violence on that side of the border. Once it starts to spill over, um, we're in some trouble.